we learn from here a very important lesson for life. That we are really one family, a Jewish nation. You, we are guarantors for each other. We cannot sit and do nothing when someone else is losing. We cannot sit and do nothing when someone else is bleeding. We cannot sit and do nothing when a Jew is disconnected from Hashem. We cannot sit and do nothing when a donkey of a Jew collapse and he needs help to lift him by, move, by removing weight from the back of the donkey. Chazal said, if the donkey of your enemy, the Torah says, if you see the donkey of your enemy collapse, you run and help him to bring the, monkey, the donkey up. The Torah says, if the enemy, the donkey, the donkey, or not your person, not your enemy, the donkey of your enemy, the donkey collapse, you cannot pass by and not run to help. If it's the donkey of your lover, not your enemy, needless to say, if for the enemy you have to help someone you like, it's obvious that you have to help, right? If you have to, love, to help someone you like bring up his donkey, don't you have a much bigger obligation to save his soul? <laughs> to save the lousy donkey, you're not allowed to ignore. You must run, get dirty with your suit. Oh, it's so heavy. You became a moving worker now. With your, you pick up the bags, you remove them from the donkey, the donkey is, is not getting up, you try to pick him up. It's a whole job. The Torah says if you continue to walk, you're criminal. You'll be punished for that. So to save the donkey of your enemy, you must. To save the soul of a human being from your nation, that is not even your enemy, a million times needless to say. Do you know where it says it in the Torah? Arur asher lo yakim et divrei ha-Torah azot ve'amar kol ha'am amen. Hashem made a list of curses. He made a list of curses. The last curse in the list is a general curse. All the other curses are specific about one sin. The last one is a general curse. Arur, Arur means cursed, like the snake, cursed. Arur asher lo yakim et divrei ha-Torah azot ve'amar kol ha'am amen. What does it mean Arur asher lo yakim, yakim et divrei ha-Torah azot? It didn't say Arur asher lo yekayem et divrei ha-Torah azot. Yekayem means Someone who does not observe the laws of the Torah, he will be cursed. That's not what it says. Yakim means something is in a mud or something collapsed. You have to bring it, bring it back to stand. Something now fell in the mud. You got to bring it back up. Chas v'shalom, the Torah fell on the floor. You run quickly, you lift it, and you put it where it was. If you let it stay on the floor, you are cursed forever. Arur asher lo yakim. Yakim means bring up. The Mefarshim say someone who does not do kiruv is arur, is cursed. That he doesn't make sure that the Torah is standing proud everywhere to all the other Jews. In Tel Aviv, in the kibbutz, in Manhattan, in Long Island, no matter where. Arur asher lo yakim. How do you make the Torah stand with proud, with pride? Either you teach Torah. If you don't know how to teach, you sponsor, sponsor lectures, promote lectures on social media. Pay. You don't have to send the donations. You can pay with your own money. You take a good lecture, let's say one hour lecture, very strong, inspiring lecture. You pay to Facebook a few thousand dollars, it will go to a million people. You can target by zip code. Same thing with YouTube. Zip codes where the Jews live. I don't know, Beverly Hills. It's almost all Jews. Great neck. 
half of the population are Jews. Uh, places where you know there's a lot of Jewish population who not everyone is religious. You take from your master money and promote, promote lectures. Some clowns promote their heresy and they get millions of views. They have a lot of money.